This is E! News Primetime. Good evening. A Free State woman who killed a man by hacking up his body and skinning his face has been sentenced to an indefinite prison term. Sinead Van Heerden's lawyer had asked for a life sentence, which would have meant being eligible for parole in 25 years' time. Instead, she'll be jailed for 20 years before being able to appear in a court again. She pleaded guilty to Michael Van Eck's murder in Valcom in April. Seemingly emotionless, she listened to Judge Albert Greer deciding her fate. It will be at least 20 years before Sinead Van Heerden sets foot outside prison. And even then, she will not be guaranteed freedom. Classified as a dangerous criminal, she will then have to convince the court that she has been rehabilitated. Her lack of remorse, combined with her confession and expert testimony that she'll probably kill again, helped the judge arrive at his decision. Forensic pathologist Meryl Foster testified that Van Yerden is a psychopath and her chances of rehabilitation are slim. And the experts were unanimous. Though Van Heerden had dabbled in the occult, Satanism had played little part in the crime. Rather, her and her boyfriend and co-accused Martins van der Merwe's mutual feeding of each other's sick fantasies were to blame. Prosecutor Johanna Nation told the court there was a monster who would kill again hidden behind Van Heerden's attractive appearance. I don't think there's any doubt. Um, if you look at all the expert evidence, that was led, um, it appears very, very certain that she will uh, commit the same kind of offence again. Van der Merwe will be tried separately next year. He allegedly suffers from schizophrenia and is to undergo psychological tests before entering a plea. Earl Kutsia, E! News, Virginia. In other news, police are on the hunt for a second suspect allegedly linked to the murder of a Pretoria woman whose body was found in an office.